welcome back to my kitchen for another recipe. Today we're gonna be making one of my favorite quick recipes and it's a sweet and spicy salmon bowl. I love making it because it takes less than an hour to make. It's super flavorful and it's really filling and nutritious. There's basically three components to the recipe. First up we have coconut rice which can easily be swapped for any steamed jasmine rice. Second up, we have our salmon, which gets cubed into small little bites and seared in a pan with tons of seasoning, some honey, butter, garlic. It's absolutely delicious. And third, we have the spicy mayo, which is super simple to make. It takes less than five minutes. And at the end, we'll throw all this together into a bowl, and that's basically it. So let's get started. The first component we're gonna start on is our spicy mayo because it takes literally like a minute to make, and then we can just store it in the fridge while we work on the rest of the recipe. Here's everything you'll need for the spicy mayo. Mayonnaise, sesame oil, the hot sauce like sriracha or sambal, sugar, lemon juice, mix it, and that's basically it. It's so easy to make and it keeps in the fridge for about a week or two. Just make sure to cover it and put it in an airtight container and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Now we're gonna move on to our salmon. We'll need about one pound for this recipe and we're not using the skin so we're gonna take that off first. Also, if it's your first time cooking and chopping for salmon, here's a few differences between Atlantic and Alaskan salmon. Alaskan salmon is caught wild so it's a little bit more expensive and it's gonna have that deeper orange color. On the other hand, Atlantic salmon is a much more affordable option. It's also lighter pink in color and it's farm raised. Both are delicious though and whatever you can get is gonna work in this recipe. To remove the skin you'll need a very sharp knife and you're just gonna make a cut right under the meat. Once you can grab enough skin just like this you're gonna pull on it tightly and start gliding your knife across. And the skin will come off just like this. Then we're going to cube the salmon into bite-sized pieces. Then we're going to marinate our salmon with a few spices. Okay, so the salmon is done marinating and we're just gonna let it soak in all those flavors while we work on our rice. I always like to cook my protein at the end, that way it stays warm and we don't have to reheat it, which is only gonna dry it out. For the rice, we're gonna be using jasmine and we wanna make sure to rinse it really well. I'll pop an image on the screen of my favorite jasmine rice brand that I like to use. To make the coconut rice, we're gonna start out by adding some coconut oil, butter, and garlic to our pan. To make this vegan, just omit the butter and use more coconut oil, olive oil, or a butter substitute. After sauteing the garlic for one minute, we're gonna add some water and coconut milk. Then we'll add some salt and sugar to make it a little bit sweet and bring that to a boil. Once it's bubbling, we're gonna add our rinsed rice, bring it back to a boil, cover, and let it simmer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you'll turn off the heat, leave it covered, and let it steam for an additional 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take off the lid and fluff the rice. The rice is done, so now it's time to cook our salmon. You want to get a large pan and put it over medium-high heat. Then we'll add a little bit of olive oil, vegetable oil, or avocado oil. When the pan is hot, we're going to throw in our salmon. Sear the salmon on all sides, making sure to turn it over with some tongs so that it's golden brown all over. At the end of its cooking time, turn the heat down all the way to low, and then you're going to add a little bit of butter, honey, and chopped parsley. Toss that all together, and the salmon is done. All three of our components are done, so now we can assemble our bowls.
And finally, our last step is to enjoy. Hmm. It's absolutely delicious and I know you guys are gonna love this recipe and I'm so excited for you to try it out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and of course, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss when I upload a new video.